What's up everybody, it's me E-Man and today we're gonna review Fantastic Four. Flame on. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's give you a quick intro. Four young explorers teleport to an alternate and dangerous universe, which gives them very unique and fantastic power. The four of them must learn how to use their new abilities to stop a new enemy who used to be their former friend. But enough about that, let's get to the good. The good. First off, I'm gonna give this points for being original. This version of the film tries to go a little bit beyond the comic book story and try and give you a more realistic origin story. You also get a couple new interesting variations of their abilities that you probably aren't used to seeing. Now this especially applies to the character of Doctor Doom, who possesses a wide variety of new powers. Due to his wisecracking one-liners, Michael B. Jordan is probably going to be one of the very few bright spots of this film. Yes, pun intended. Whew, let's get to the bad. The bad. I don't want to spoil anything, but the origin story of the four heroes is probably going to draw a lot of comparisons to the origin story of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you see it. I think that there was entirely too much time given to trying to develop the characters. As a result, you're not given enough time to see what you actually came to see, which was the main characters getting their powers, using their powers, and fighting the villain. Speaking of which, the villain, Doctor Doom, reminded me of some Darth Vader type of character with no real explanation as to why he was evil. It just seemed a little counterintuitive to spend so much time developing a character, but then take these shortcuts and not really explain why he was upset or why he was evil. As for the fight scenes, get ready to wait about an hour and a half just for them to start. The main fight was short, it was cheesy, and in my opinion, it was lazy. The end fight scene was just covered up with all these flashing lights and rocks flying everywhere that it was just very hard to determine what actually happened. And I'm not sure if this was done intentionally or not, but they clearly stole a scene from Avengers Age of Ultron. You'll know it when you see it too. All right, let's get to the reason the reason. If you can't tell by now, this movie was a little bit of a letdown. Now, don't get me wrong, to its credit, it was better than the previous Fantastic Four film. The problem with the previous Fantastic Four movies was that they stuck too close to the comics and it made them look cheesy and corny. This film strayed way off base and it just didn't work out for this film at all. In other words, this film failed to find that happy medium of having a good solid comic foundation with a modern original twist. A perfect example of this is probably how they try to appeal to the younger audience with the whole superhero factor, but then they turn around and try and go dark by doing some semi-gruesome killings throughout the film. Now, I don't know how telling this is or not, and you can judge for yourself, but even one of the main actors, Miles Teller, was quoted to basically saying that this movie wasn't gonna be well received. And I think he was right. As for the rating, I'm gonna give this film a six out of 10. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, hold on, I know what you're thinking. Hey E-Man, uh, that's a pretty low score. Should I still go see this and see it for myself? I don't believe you. Now my response to that would be, absolutely, go see it. While you're at it, get a root canal. Okay, fine, that's too harsh, but you get my point. I would recommend that if you want to go see this and you don't believe me, try to find the cheapest matinee price available. Otherwise, you can absolutely wait on seeing this, probably when it's for free. Oh, and there's no end credit scene, so don't bother waiting for something after the credits. You know, it's pretty messed up. In all the movies that I've seen in the theaters, I don't think I've ever left a theater where people were still booing. All right, that's all I got for today. Today. Thanks for joining me guys. Hey, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I got more reviews and more videos coming up. Until then, I'll see you later.